Welcome, dear viewers, to a story that unfolds in a remote corner of our planet. A place where nature's beauty converges with the haunting echoes of human history. thought it was very interesting to focus on the shipwreck because it is the symbol of world strife where so many nations had a stake in the outcome and how many lives were lost for it. So I think it was really important that it gave us this broad sweeping information about the war to situate us and then center on the specific area um, and it's the area's role in the war as an army base. So I thought that was really interesting because we got not only the historical aspect, the geographical context, and then we could hone in on the shipwreck itself as a symbol. I thought the historical images, the videos, the testimonies, all of these stories helped bring us into the past authentically and then we were treated to this this gorgeous cinematography under the water and getting to explore the shipwrecks once we had that context was amazing um first and foremost the cinematography was stunning those bright vibrant colors capturing the empty halls of the vessels and depth felt like i was truly immersed like i was going along on this diving expedition and it was an adventure um this is one of my favorite kind of things i have such an explorer spirit and getting to go where others don't always get to see is such a treat and that's the beauty of film and the beauty of documentaries um and i, I thought that the the narration had a lovely poetic quality to it which also brought me in and just elevated this doc from being just informational to both exciting and immersive, but also quite beautiful and uh, striking as well uh, in a political context. And it, it gives a lot of moment to the still photography that's featured in this doc. Uh, the underwater shots of the sunken vessels are very fascinating. Gives you this, this different perspective. We get to see this world of the shipwreck. And this doc also gives a really interesting point of view on this part of history. So you have a mix of voiceover, talking and interviews with those familiar with the history and those that are connected to it. And the visuals of the shipwrecks in this particular lagoon all add in making this documentary very visually stimulating um, alongside with the perspective of those from this region who have their own connection to this particular area of the world. Really nice introduction. And I just thought it was a beautiful way to set it up with the nature, the overhead shots and then underwater shots. Um, and just the shot, the camera work throughout was so beautifully done. And really just, you could just sit and watch this as far as just visually. Um, but also the narration was really well done. The script was great. At times it was poetic. Um, just really, really nice footage of the underground creatures. I thought it was really crazy about the oil, that there was still oil underneath you know, down in the shipwrecks and possibly could be released. Um, just the music too was beautiful throughout, really good accompanying music for this, good footage, the historic footage and the history recap of, you know, how this came about. Just really good visuals throughout. It helped me to stay interested. I, I like seeing visuals with facts and knowledgeable things because it won't stick in my brain unless I actually see some visuals along with it. I'm a very visually oriented person. So I thought it was great. Um, and I love how they said, you know, accidental Eden uh, and how nature kind of claimed it too. So and how the um, coral reefs were, you know, the shipwrecks were kind of transformed into coral reefs. I thought it was all very interesting. We reflect on World War II um, and the state of the world. And it really makes you bring the question of how did we get to this point yet again in our present time? And what can we learn from history to hopefully um, do something different? 
And so here we get a documentary that uh, brings in and engages with people who have a vast amount of different interests. This is for history lovers. This is for people who really depict and understand art and see things through an artistic lens. This is for uh, people who are uh, just drawn in by creatures of the sea. So here we get a really beautiful uh, lens through the cinematography as we get this like first person point of view almost on uh, what is uh, hanging beneath these islands. And during that time, we're getting uh, from the locals uh, the story and the history that lives with all, within this place. I enjoyed the, the image and also the perspective of history and travel. I think it's a really interesting perspective that takes us on a journey through history and through nature as well about the impacts of World War II and it makes for a really compelling watch.